Uh, one of the things we're seeing a lot of, um, I'm not sure if it's, if it's just us, but uh, I would say probably half of our biz dev pipeline at the moment is, is media uh, and marketing plan audits. Um, it took a pandemic for people to suddenly decide that the media plan they have now and the marketing plan they have now probably isn't the right one for next year um, because next year is going to be completely different than any other year as is this year. Yes. Um, so, you know, we take advantage obviously because some of these marketing and media plans have been horrible for 10 years and it's just, <laughs> we're finally getting a chance to take a look at them. But uh, do you have any thoughts on um, the way in which sort of senior level you know, C-suite should be, should be looking at this as an opportunity to sort of like really shake things up with regards to, you know, their media and marketing plans? That's a really great question, right? So, um, you know, when I was in, in, uh, in, in my CMO role, um, really, you know, having a large budget that was across digital and traditional media, so print, radio, TV, et cetera, um, we, were, we were super focused on the shift to digital. Um, but in order to, to, to shift and make those changes, you know, fundamentally what it comes down to, Kevin, and you know this better than anybody, it's, it's really an attribution discussion, right? So if I'm going to, so what I think we've gotten a lot better at in the last couple of years and retailers have really uh, invested in and I think we're getting better at is, is really understanding what the offline attribution is for digital media, right? So um, there, are, there are definitely providers out there that can help you with that, the live ramps of the world, et cetera, that can help you to identify, okay, you know, I, I viewed an ad on Facebook and I actually transacted in a store. So I think the, the, the first point is, do you have a good attribution methodology? So uh, because digital is not only just driving, you know, ROAS or your e-commerce business, it's actually driving your store business as well, your offline business. So I think the attribution piece is super important. So once you have that solid attribution, uh, or at least good enough that you're comfortable with it. It's never, as you know, 100% because customers like to transact across, you know, they basically can get an email, go out to Facebook, then go to an affiliate. So you really have to understand the customer journey. But I think once you have a solid attribution methodology, then you feel better about shifting to digital because, you know, right now the consumer is home, right? I mean, he or she is home and, uh, it's a, it's a, uh, they're on their phone. They're consuming a ton of social media, uh, so uh, it, it's a great opportunity to shift to digital. And, and if you can do a good job from an attribution standpoint, you, you have a better view of, you know, I, I make the investment here. It's driving, you know, two to one online, but I'm also driving three to one in stores.